Hello, esteemed individuals. It's delightful to witness your presence once again. Here's your routine update on regal happenings and insightful analysis. Before delving into additional particulars, I want to express my sincere gratitude for the immense love and support you've shown. If you haven't subscribed yet, well, what's holding you back? Go ahead and click that subscribe button now. Also, remember to hit the bell icon. Moreover, if you find the content enjoyable and aspire to join our exclusive community, consider backing us on Patreon. It's the platform where we share behind-the-scenes content, provide early access, and establish a more intimate connection with you. Please refer to the link in the description. Let's commence with the video. There have been claims that prior to the Sussexes' departure from the royal family, tensions arose between Princess Kate and Meghan Markle. In the domain of public speaking, Meghan Markle's eloquence appeared to surpass that of Princess Kate before the Sussexes' separation from the royal family, as highlighted by royal expert Charlotte Griffiths. Discussing this matter on GB News, Griffiths recounted a crucial moment in 2018 when both Meghan and Kate were speakers at a forum. During this event, Meghan's speaking prowess began to outshine that of Princess Kate. In 2018, Meghan and Kate participated in a forum together, and Meghan's speaking skills clearly outshone Kate's, as noted by Griffiths in her commentary. The royal analyst underscored the potential risk of Meghan outshining Kate in the realm of public speaking. Despite this, Princess Kate demonstrated her characteristic composure, opting to remain composed and let events unfold. Griffiths explained, But what Kate's done, which is what she's brilliant at, is just stood back, stayed calm, and just waited for Harry and Meghan to thrash it out. Tie themselves in knots, throw the red accusations her way via the royal biographer, apparently via Meghan. Princess Kate's strategic approach ultimately led to her prevailing in the public's perception, as emphasized by Griffiths. The Royal Observer highlighted Kate's adeptness at playing the long game, contrasting it with Meghan's rapid burnout after departing for the United States with Prince Harry. Before their departure, many in the UK media viewed Meghan Markle as the next Princess Diana. Griffiths acknowledged this perception but noted that Kate Middleton's patience and ability to allow things time played a pivotal role in her triumph. Kate can give things time. She has that ability to play the long game and Meghan wasn't able to. She just tied herself in knots and burned out quite quickly, added Griffiths. The rift between Meghan Markle and Princess Kate existed even before the Sussexes left for the U.S., with Griffiths asserting that they were never friends in the first place. She speculated about Kate's ability to deliver a convincing performance if necessary, citing a past instance during the Queen's death when they walked together through crowds, albeit less convincingly. As the dynamics within the royal family continue to unfold, the divergent public speaking styles and strategic approaches of Meghan Markle and Princess Kate provide intriguing insights into their respective roles. What are your thoughts on this news? Were you surprised to discover the subtle competition between Meghan Markle and Princess Kate in public speaking? And how do you believe Kate's strategic approach played a role in her prevailing in the public eye? Share your opinions in the comments and let me know. In the meantime, we'll have to wait and see how things unfold. If you never want to miss any of my scintillating royal updates like this, simply subscribe and hit the bell icon. It's as simple as that. Until next time, hasta la vista.